Hello and welcome. This is a new lab that we're doing um, this semester that I'm trying out for the first time and it's extraction of vinca alkaloids. So let me take you a little bit through what this um, substance is and where it's found and uh, then we'll get into the procedure. So uh, this is the Madagascar uh, periwinkle. It's a nice flowering plant that you can find around the area or, or buy from seeds from the store and so on. And it's the source of these two very, very complicated alkaloids. And we're gonna extract those compounds today from this uh, dried leaf material, okay? So the Madagascar periwinkle is uh, native and actually endemic to Madagascar. It grows very well and it forms like these uh, runners and it just takes over your whole yard if you're not careful, but it's pretty. Uh, it's grown as an ornamental and for med medicine and it's called uh, Catharanthus roseus. It was previously in the genus Vinca, and so that's why we call these compounds Vinca alkaloids that are isolated from them. There are more than 200 biologically active alkaloids present in the plant, but the two major ones I'll talk about today are the ones we're gonna focus on. The first one is called vincristine. So you can see how there's uh, two indole rings. There's one here. There's this six-membered ring fused to this uh, five-membered ring, and there's uh, nitrogen here. So this is an aromatic indole ring, and there's another one here. This is an aromatic indole ring, okay? Up here we have a tertiary nitrogen, and over here we have a tertiary nitrogen, okay? Down here is um, kind of an amide. So this uh, is definitely an alkaloid. You have plenty of amines there, okay? So actually it's been used in folk medicine for centuries. Um, Oncovin was approved by the FDA in 1963, and that's used as an anti-cancer drug. So for treatments of acute lymphocytic leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia, Hodgkin's disease, neuroblastoma, small lung cancer, and many others. However, the plant only produces a very small percentage upon isolation. So one of the techniques to get this compound in sufficient quantities is to do semi-synthesis. Find a similar plant that produces something very close in much greater percentages, and they do like two or three reactions to get this compound here. Oh, and this drug is an intravenous drug. It's not just a pill you can take, it has to be injected, okay? The next compound I'd like to talk about that's also isolated from um, the periwinkle plant is vinblastine, okay? And this is used in folk medicine for centuries as well. And uh, Velban, for example, was approved by the FDA in 1965. There's many other trade names for this. So it's similar, you've got these indole alkaloids, you've got this quaternary amine, and, and that there's slight differences here and there on the uh, functional groups. And this is also used for the treatment of cancers such as Hodgkin's lymph lymphoma, bladder, brain, and lung cancers, melanoma, uh, testicular cancer, and many other kinds of cancer, okay? Now, extraction is costly, timely, and inefficient compared to semi-synthesis methods, okay? So if you wanna treat lots of patients with this drug, you're gonna have to make it in high purity and have only that compound in there and have large amounts of it available. The plant just does not produce the quantities needed and to get it really pure it takes a lot of time intensive chromatography and things like this that are just um, prohib prohibitive from a time uh, standpoint, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be isolating some anti-cancer drugs. Um, if you wash your hands and you're careful not to taste any of the compounds, you'll be fine. They're not any more toxic than uh, the kind of chemicals that we normally play around with, okay? So I hope you have some kind of interest and this piques your curiosity in terms of uh, anti-cancer compounds, phytochemicals or chemicals produced by plants that might have medicinal value, and alkaloids, of course, okay? So that's a bit of introduction as to uh, the types of compounds we're dealing with, and I hope you find this lab very interesting. Take it easy.